Um, just a bunch of improvement, a bunch of, you know, familiar familiarity. Uh, they're getting comfortable with the scheme. I'm seeing guys be able to go and play, getting to see what they've been working on uh, all offseason. So just to see our young guys like Jordan Renard, Hunter Osborne, Edric Hill, uh, you know, coming to play Kia and Keely, you know, stepping up. And then LT being a great, you know, coming in and transferring from Texas a and He's been a great uh, factor, you know, adding to our defense. <clears throat> Oh, it's been, uh, he's been very instrumental in, you know, the whole situation as far as a new coaching change. Uh, definitely made my decision about staying here, you know, a no-brainer. Coach Roach, I love Coach Roach. Uh, the way he, you know, coaches as far as having a relationship with his guys and also the developmental part, you, I wouldn't ask for no other coach. <clears throat> Um, where I was last year, it was just pretty much a uncertainty. Like, I was working for the one position, and I ended up getting it. And so now it's just maintaining it and I compete with myself, see how, you know, if I had a great day, see if I could have a better day. So just always challenging myself, compete with myself to see if I can be the best player I can be. Yeah, um, as far as depth, I, I think we're going to be, you know, very, we're going to be very fresh for the game as far as how guys can rotate. And we got so many, you know, secret weapons. We got guys who can pass rush. You got guys who can stop the run. And you got guys who can stop the run as pass rush. So we pretty much we got a whole arsenal. Just cause destruction in that backfield and call and get that uh, quarterback off the spot. Um, control our gaps and control the line up front. Uh, Coach Womack, he always says he Bombay. That means hold the line, you know, from his uh, favorite movie, Black Panther. So he always teaches us teaches us that. So every time we go out there, it's Bombay. Just very technical, very sound. They like to communicate. They, they're going to communicate. Uh, and if you if you don't got your eyes in the right, you know, at the right key, you're going to get knocked off your, your top or you're going to get knocked off your spot. So just as far as, you know, going against Book, them, especially that uh, interior three, Book, Parker, and Big Jane uh, is always a good battle. But when we go, especially, you know, especially if you get some hands not in the right place, it always gets pretty fun in there. Well, you know, here at Alabama, uh, practices always seem to be harder than the game because of how much the workload is when we uh, go out here and compete with each other every day and going against the best of the best. So when we get in the game, it's pretty much like falling into my training and knowing what I didn't know what to see, see a little, see a lot. So just have my eyes in the right place and that way I could be able to go. I feel like one of them steam trains, you know, the more, the further I go, the faster I get. So it's just been pretty fun. We having fun out there, and that's always great. When the D lineman and the defense having a good time, you know, that's always a good time. Oh, I'm very excited. I know it's still work to be done, and it's all you can always get better. But as far as the tenacity and the hunger and the want to, I'm very excited for this defense and what it's going to bring this season. Nah, not at all. As long as I'm in that backfield, uh, you know, causing disrupt disruption on that line, holding them double teams, and getting after that quarterback, that's all they can ask. There's a lot of uh, experience up front, not just you, Otis, uh, Tim Smith. Like, is there is there a kind of a bond there that you guys are all kind of coming into your own at the same time? Definitely. Um, we all we all hang out and we all uh, you know followers of God or whatnot. So just. That relationship, that bond, we go, we, you know, we joke all the time. Our meme room is, you know, it's something to see, but, you know, it's always instruction. But just having having those guys around me, especially growing up at this place, um, though having those three, four years with them guys is always fun and it's going to definitely help us in the long run. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, definitely. Just trying to make sure, we, you know, we stack days and, you know, we have to rush as one. So if everybody on one accord, we all going to get to the uh, money back there in the backfield. See, here in this Alabama heat, it get pretty hot. <laughs> it get pretty hot. And, you know, your teammate, he he feeling that heat too. So when you need some strength, that's where I get my strength from. That's who gave me everything I could. And I just leaned on him. Uh, of course, God's going to put people in your pathway to help you. But as far as pure strength and, you know, determination, especially when it's, it's play three and you got like three more to go and it's, it's second and long, hey, hey, God, I need you right here. And let, let's go get this player. So that's how I use them. You might, and you're often uh, one of the first guys through drills. Like, why is it something that you like to do to lead the way through drills? Because uh, it's it's easy to fuss at a guy if he doesn't know, but if it's if you if you fussing at him and I went first, then that's always good. I always like to be you know lead by example, and especially if a guy don't know, because yeah, you can have a motor and, and go and everything, but you have to have the right technique, you have to know the right information, you have to have the right steps and whatnot. And me being an older guy. Just stepping up and being that example. What's it? Um, definitely. Like with Coach Freddie, he he knows every last one of us like the back of his hand. Like he knows when we we not in the mood or upset, or he knows when we having a good day, or you know probably a girl and said we look handsome that day or something like that. Just he he know he knows us like that. So as far as um, giving us information, he knows how to come to us in every type of way. What's it been like going up against Parker Brailsford every day? Uh, smaller center, but obviously bringing a lot of strength to the table. Well. I, I love Parker. When the fir first time when he got here back in the spring, and I just watched him going through his drills, I was just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm finna get some good work. So it's always great competition. Like, it ain't about the size of the dog, but the, the fight in the dog. So, and that, and that boy Parker, he a dog. So I'm excited uh, for him, his development, and what he has to show this season. Kane was talking about Coach Savor not getting too high or too low. He said he gets kind of high, Kane does. But what is your reaction to Coach Savor now a few months in to see the way he is on the track field, obviously, compared to what happened last year? Um, I'd say he's, like he said, he's pretty uh, – Steady. Uh, if you know about a lot of people know Philippians 4:13, but Philippians 4:12 says, "I know what it is to have plenty, but I know what it is to be in need." But uh, I will be, you know, the, uh, I will be steady with the Lord. Pretty much, can't get too high, can't get too low. I know what God got for me. So I feel like Coach DeBoer leans on that a lot. Um, of course, he wants us to celebrate when we have certain plays, but you know, one and no mindset. You know, we won that play. All right, good. Let's win the next one. So that's his mindset, and I, I appreciate him, you know, instilling that in us. Seems like two Kane, more questions, y'all. Two more questions. Seems like Kane brings more Old Testament fire, though. What's it like having him with him more in the counter? Oh yeah, I, we, you know, you need that. You gotta have. If the coach gonna be laid back, you gotta have somebody in there that's gonna be that firecracker. So, man, C Coach Womack, he always gonna bring that that juice, like. Like I said earlier, uh, Ibambe hold the line. So that's every time you say that, I get turned up. <laughs> Do you, does he bring more heat than, than Nick would? Nick would get after you. Guys. You know, you know, you know, Coach Saban and Coach Saban like no other. Uh, <laughs> Coach Saban get, get that walk. He, he lock eyes on. You get that tunnel vision. Yeah, but now nah, Coach Womack, he definitely brings the fire. He definitely brings the juice.